Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. This is Jonathan. Um, in today's video, I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on the song by Maverick City Music, Man of Your Word. So we're going to get to the piano part that I'm sure all of you guys are here for, but I'm just going to run through the rest of the song first so we can get that out of the way. This song is in the key of B. If you don't understand any of the terminology that I'm using when I'm referring to chords as numbers and letters as numbers and things of that different nature, don't worry about it. I'm going to have videos coming out on that soon. For now, if you look at the virtual keyboard, you'll be able to see all the notes that I'm playing on the right hand side of the screen. You'll be able to see all of the particular chords that I'm playing. So I'm going to take it really slow, go through it chord by chord, and I'm going to show you guys how to play the song. So just starting with the intro, if we're in the key of B, key of B is going to be consisting of this scale here. It's B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, and B. So with the first, the first part, the intro being four, three, six, five, we're going to be playing chords based around these four notes, the four, the three, the six, and the five. Okay. First chord, it's just a regular E chord. Um, I like to add the ninth right here. Second chord, it's going to be an inverted B over that D sharp. So normally you would play a, a B in regular root position. I'm just taking this F sharp and moving it down here because it's following that melody. All things are possible. And then we're going to go to the six, which is going to be a G sharp minor. And the only thing that I'm doing is keeping that same voicing of that B. So I don't change much at all going from the first three chords at all. So the first chord, that E, to the B over D sharp. And then the only thing I'm doing when I go to that six is just changing my bass note. And then when we go to the five, to the F sharp, I do that. Okay. I'm just taking this B and I'm adding this A sharp when I go to the F sharp. Okay. So I'm going to take that really slow. Um, if I'm going too fast for you, I'm just going to play it really slowly. I'm not going to say anything. Watch the chords, watch the, the letters, and then you guys can um, slow the video down even further if you need to. So I'm just going to run through the verse real, uh, the intro real quick. Okay. Now the intro is going to be the same as the verse. Okay. So we've already knocked those two parts out. The pre-chorus is going to start on the two. So again, if we're in the key of B, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, six, five. Okay, and the pre-chorus is the part is, um, if you said it, we believe it, um, kind of leading into the chorus. So I'm just gonna go from the intro into that pre-chorus so you can hear the context. going to the pre-chorus now if you said it we believe it that part right there that's the part we're going to next so we're going to the two which is just a c sharp minor seven i don't do anything really fancy on this one i'm just doing a c sharp in my bass and an e triad in my right hand and then we're going to use the same three chord that we used in the beginning where we do that b over f sharp you guys already know that voicing same voicing for the six and the five as well. Actually, on, on this particular part here, I don't do that just because this part is a little bit more opened up when we're going to the chorus. This closed voicing makes it sound a little bit too muddy. So on this particular five, I'm just playing one, five, one, five of F sharp, of course. So a regular F sharp triad would be this. And I'm just omitting that middle note. Okay, so back again from the top, from the beginning of the pre-chorus. We're going to start on the two. You said it, we believe it. If you said it, if you said it, we believe it. Then you go into the chorus, okay? So the chorus part, this is the part that everybody wants to know. The melody line is what's uh, prominent in that part. The chords are exactly the same as the intro and the verse, but what makes that part so um, so iconic is that piano part. I'm going to go through a couple of different ways that you can play it, depending on where your skill level is. 
Um, so we can just start with, I guess, just the basic, which would be the melody. What you want to do is just kind of listen to the um, the rhythms that are taking place because some notes are being played more than others. So I'm just going to play it one more time for you. Second phrase, starting on F sharp. Okay. Then you do it all over again. But this time, we're going to start on this G sharp. Ba, 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 da, da, da. Okay, so you have four parts that you want to try to to get nailed down. Um, if you're not used to playing this type of rhythm, like I said, break it up into these four parts. Look at exactly what I'm doing with my hands. Look at the screen so that you can match those notes with the notes that you're playing. Remember, practice these until you can you can play them without thinking about it. You don't want to rush through one part and then try to get to the next part. Learn each part, master each part and then move on to the next. Now, here's how that incorporates with your left hand. Okay, people who are just beginning. That's all you need right now. I want you to just cut the video off right now. Go and practice everything that we've done up until now from from now until the end of the video is going to be more for intermediate and advanced so practice that nail that down then come back to this video to get the advanced part if you think that the first part was too easy for you so um the voicing that i used for that was this okay so not looking even at my left hand just this is the voicing that i use it's a f7 um and what i did was that i just used the melody line um within the voicings of my chord. Okay. Remember, slow it down if you need to. Okay. So that is the part there. All right. Um, I have the, the tag written down on here. Um, the tag is, is pretty simple. Um, it's near, um, it's kind of like the bridgey part, uh, where they say we have this confidence. Okay. Um, but. Most people are going to have that. Um, the main part of this video is just to make sure that you guys understood that chorus part. That is the, the basic gist of this song. I do have a playthrough of this song on my channel. You guys can go check that out. So um, after you've watched this video, you can go check that one out and you can see all of the different things that I was doing in that video. A little bit more embellished, um, a little bit more to it. Um, but all the foundational things that I showed you guys in this video are in that playthrough. So after you watch this and saw me break it down, then you can go back to that video and take a look at how I actually played it through the song. And then you can understand where um, I got some different motifs and ideas and stuff from to improvise in that song. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions in regards to anything that I went through in here, if I went a little bit too fast for you, if you have no idea what the heck I'm talking about, let me know down in the comment section below. If you want to see any more content like this, uh, definitely subscribe. I'm going to be working on some primer videos for, for you guys so that you can learn piano from the beginning. So that, that way you can come back to videos like these and understand what I'm talking about with numbers and scales and chords and all these different things, all these different concepts. I'm going to be putting in um, a series for you guys. There's going to be a playlist on my channel coming up very soon where I explain all these concepts. So if you want to stay tuned for that, it's all free content. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to go looking anywhere else for it. Go on ahead and subscribe. If you like this video, like, comment down below with any questions or concerns. And don't forget to share this video if you thought it was helpful. You guys take it easy.